Hi, this is Nolan Hames from presentyourstory.com, and today I want to show you the zip archive hack for determining why your PowerPoint file is so large and, and what is going on inside of it. So uh, here we have a PowerPoint file. It's 63 megs uh, in size. If we open it up, we find out that there's really not a whole lot going on with it, though. We have a, a bunch of images, uh, but really no reason why this file needs to be 63 megs. Unfortunately, there's no way to find out from within PowerPoint the sizes of your individual items um, on your slides. So it's quite possible that one or more of these images is simply larger than it needs to be. To figure out which one is, is sort of causing the, the problem here, we're going to go to our file and we're going to first duplicate uh, duplicate it. We always do that when we use this trick. So Control C, Control V gives us a copy. And then we're going to go ahead and change the extension here from PPTX to ZIP to make it a zip archive folder. And what most people don't realize is that that is actually is what a PowerPoint file is. It's uh, written in XML. It's simply a collection of other files packaged up. And to get to that package, this is the way we, you have to do it. We're going to right click and do extract all. OK, go ahead and extract. And after a little while, what it's going to do, it's going to show us basically everything that's happening in that uh, PowerPoint file, the XML and a whole bunch of other uh, software settings. Inside the PPT folder is another folder called Media. And inside that media folder is where our images, our sounds, and our video uh, are going to live. And if we sort by size here, which, which we've done here, we'll see that we have a whole bunch of JPEG files that seem sort of appropriately sized. But then there's this one TIFF file right up at the top here that is 53 megs in size. That is absolutely not necessary. Uh, it's way too large. Um, and in fact, we don't, you don't even really ever need to use TIFF files in a, in a PowerPoint file. They're just needlessly large. Which image is this? Well, we can right click and do a preview and find out. OK, it's the leopard image. So we're going to close this image down. Uh, that gives us really all the information we need. We're, we're actually kind of done with uh, both the, the folder and, and the zip. So if we go back to our uh, original file here, this was the culprit. This was 53 megs, large, uh, 53 megs in size. It was a TIFF. Uh, we can simply delete it, get rid of it completely. We can go back to the original, maybe down res it, uh, turn it into a JPEG, bring it back in. Uh, if we just want to compress this one, we can, of course, use uh, PowerPoint's uh, built-in compression tools. Uh, if you just want to get rid of it as a TIFF, like completely, because TIFFs are still going to be on the large size and you don't have Photoshop, you can Control C and then go to Paste Special and select PNG, and that will bring in a new PNG copy. So you can delete the, the TIFF version and and uh, bring that in uh, now as a native PNG file. I should point out that this does work on the Mac uh, OS as well. You can just manually change it to, Z to ZIP. However, in the more recent versions of Mac, uh, Apple has not uh, allowed you to double click the zip file to open it up. That used to be the, the behavior. But now what you have to do is you have to right click the zip file and use and select archive utility to open up the zip or a third party. Uh, zip utility uh, program to do that. So just one extra step you've got to take on the Mac side. So that is the zip, uh, zip archive tool. Uh, it's a great way to find out uh, what's going on in your file and take a look at all your media. I'm Nolan Hames from presentyourstory.com. Check out our other videos and swing by our blog for lots about presentation and visual communication design.